Tonight at 6, we are pausing with Pittsburgh as we prepare to mark one year since the Tree of Life shooting this weekend. And to honor the 11 lives that were lost on October 27th. Channel 11 David Johnson is anchoring our coverage live from the Tree of Life Synagogue tonight. David? Well, Lisa and Peggy, uh, thank you so very much. I stood here almost on this very spot, maybe about a half a block away a year ago in utter disbelief in what happened in my own backyard, so to speak, in my own neighborhood. And now a year later, these memories just for so many of us come rushing back. And that's same, of course, for a woman named Michelle Rosenthal. She lost her beloved brothers, Cecil and David. They were staples here at this synagogue. If you were ever in side you saw them to be sure and in many ways those young men were the faces of squirrel hill i try not to think too far ahead i try to get through each day when michelle rosenthal heard the terrible news that morning that there was a shooting at tree of life synagogue well she had no doubt i knew where my brothers were that day at tree of life because they were always there i imagined the worst Cecil and David Rosenthal, unofficial greeters at the synagogue. In Squirrel Hill, you didn't have to be a member of Tree of Life to have met them, to have seen them. They were seemingly everywhere with their smiles, with those personalities. Because they were such beautiful, sweet souls. They love to say hello to people. They love to be included in on stuff. And um, they wanted to be a part of this community. To lose beloved siblings, in this case, so violently, in such a terrible act of hatred. Well, you can understand that Michelle has struggled this past year. I looked at a picture the other day from a year ago when my husband and I were having dinner with my parents and my brothers, and and I, I, I can't believe what's happened this year. As I learned from talking with her, Michelle is a strong person. Yes, a strong person, but with a hole or two in her heart. Um, you don't forget. You just uh, you figure out how to how to wake up every morning. And we all send our thoughts and prayers, as we have over the past year, to folks like Michelle and Andrew Wedner I interviewed before, and everybody affected by what went on here. Both Cecil and David received support from Achieva, an organization that helps those with disabilities. And it's a nonprofit started a memorial fund in their honor, which has since raised more than $170,000. Good for them. The Jewish Federations of North America is holding a nationwide memorial service. You can sign up to receive a text at 5 o'clock with a prayer for morning. You can also sign up at our website, WPXI.com. Just look for that right there. And it's a reminder for everybody to stop and remember what happened here on Sunday. Lisa?